Walter Payton returns to the field for the start of the second half at Soldier Field in Chicago. He needs just three more yards to break the record. He rolled up 64 yards in the first half as the Bears took a 13-7 lead over New Orleans. Kovach and Whitney Paul, he needs two more yards. And there's Mama and his wife, Connie, his son, Jared, in anticipation. Second and nine. Peyton. He's got it. Johnny Morris at Soldier Field where history was made on a second and nine, a pitch out to Peyton going left. It wasn't what you call a spectacular run, four or five yards, but it was enough to put him over the hump as Peyton leaps forward, gets the record, and it's the day he'll remember for a long time, and I think every NFL fan, when you stop to think that you've rushed for over 12,000 yards. Another thing to think about, Walter could set another record today if he goes for 100 yards or more, and it would leave him at the top of the heap. He's tied with Jim Brown with 58 100-plus yard rushing efforts in his career. Golf wide to the near side. Double wing formation to give to Peyton. Right through a big hole to the 25 and the 21-yard line, the 20-yard line, and Walter Peyton has just set a second NFL career rushing record today. First, he surpasses Jim Brown in total yardage, and now he goes over the 100-yard mark for the 59th time in his career, and more importantly, a first down in scoring territory for the Bears. It is truly Walter Payton's day. Both ends in tight. Nice take a wide to the right. Eye formation. Quick pitch to Walter. Cuts back inside the block. He's to the 50. He cuts back at the 40. He's to the 30. All the way to the 27-yard line. Johnny Poe brought him down and saved a touchdown in the doing. This puts him on a pace now to break O.J. Simpson's single-season rushing record. What a year. And at the age of 30 in his 10th year in the NFL, incredible. Slot to the left, wing to the right. McMahon, a quick lob to the left side. It's caught for the touchdown by McKinnon. A little quick lob as he took two steps back, and on the back foot, he just hung it up like a parachute on the little fly pattern in the near left corner of the end zone. McKinnon circled under it like a center fielder, gathered it in, and stepped into the end zone for the touchdown. And with nine minutes and ten seconds to go here at Soldier Field in Chicago, the Bears with Walter Payton setting two NFL records today, leading the New Orleans Saints 20 to 7. Walter Payton surpassed the all-time rushing record by the great Jimmy Brown. Walter thus becomes the NFL's all-time leading rusher. He is now standing by with us live from Soldier Field, hooked up to the public address system. Walter, this is Brent Musburger in Chicago. Congratulations on your marvelous accomplishment today in Soldier Field in Chicago. Well, thank you, Brent. Uh, 
means a lot to me today because uh, not only did the offensive line play as hard as they could, but we also put points on the board what we've been trying to do. The win is uh, the key thing. Walter, you have been downplaying this record now for some time. But does it mean more to you personally now that you have accomplished it? Can you comment on what it means after you've surpassed it? Well, uh, Brett, uh, to tell you the truth, I, I get more out of chasing as opposed to obtaining. And uh, as far as passing Jim's Brown mark, you know, it's unfortunate that it has to happen, but uh, that's the way records are made to be broken. My goal is set on 15-5. All right. Now, Walter, how many more years do you plan on playing for the Bears in Chicago? What are your goals? Well, uh, I would like to continue to play for the Chicago Bears as long as I'm productive. And when it gets to the point that I'm not, then I'm going to step down. Walter, we are now going to roll your record run out of New York. It, of course, was the second play from scrimmage in the third quarter. Were you as eager as we were to get it over with here? I tell you, I, uh, before the game, I thought last week I was nervous, but this week it was even more so because, uh, you know, they were keying on me and uh, everybody's watching you, and, you know, it's not like that you could be out there amongst everybody and uh, do things and get away with it. Everybody's eyes were on me. Motivating drive for me has been for the athletes that have tried, but yet and still have failed to reach that certain achievement. And also the athletes that, uh, that didn't get an opportunity to, like the Overstreets and the Delaney's and the Brian Piccolo's. You know, this simplifies what the game is made of. And what I did out there today is a reflection of those guys because they made the sacrifices as well. And it's a tribute to me to bestow this honor upon them. Chicago was hungry for a win, and Walter Payton needed only 67 yards to become the NFL's all-time leading rusher. Going to Soldier Field is always an event for Bear fans, and this trip was even more special. This has got to be one of the greatest days, not only for him, but for the fans who've sat out through 10 years or whatever of it. Oh, I'm just rain so and snow. snow and sleet and hail. <laughs> but it's been, Walter has been the man who's made it for us these past years. This is my first football game ever in life that I've seen outside of television. And it's the history of it that really brought me down here. I've got my camera, I got everything ready. When he breaks this record, I'm gonna be right here and I'm gonna say, yeah, Walter, I knew you could do it. Few players have earned as much affection as the man known as Sweetness. And typically in Peyton's stubborn pursuit of a bare victory, the record just happened to get in the way. Walter needs two to break the record. High formation. Quick pitch to Walter. Looking for the record. Cuts back. He's got it. He's got it on the 25 and the 26 yard line. Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all time leading rushers to passing Jim Brown. And that's the equivalent to Hank Aaron. Breaking Bayfield's all-time home run record. And listen to the standing ovation. The motivating drive for me has been for the athletes that have tried, but yet and still have failed to reach that certain achievement. And also the athletes that, uh, that didn't get an opportunity to like the Overstreets and the Delaney's and the Brian Piccolo's. You know, this simplifies what the game is made of. And what I did out there today is a reflection of those guys because they made the sacrifices as well. And it's a tribute to me to bestow this honor upon them. Thank you. It was one of the most memorable days in NFL history. October 7th, 1984. Walter Payton needed just 67 yards to break a long-standing NFL record. With the Chicago Bears hosting the New Orleans Saints at Soldier Field, Payton surpassed Jim Brown's all-time rushing record, finishing the game with a career total of 12,400 yards, cementing his place as one of the greatest players of all time. It was Game 7 of the 1984 season, a gray and rainy day in Chicago, the definition of bear weather. 
but none of it could dampen the excitement and anticipation of the day. I think the whole entire city of Chicago was waiting for that moment. I mean, ever since my dad put on a Bears uniform, I think, and over the times where you started to see him, you know, rack up all these yards, it got to that point. And fall it did. Early in the second half, with Peyton needing just two yards to break the record, the Bears called for a play known as Toss 28 Week. Quick pitch you, Walton. He's got it. I mean, it's, I hear it over and over again. And I watch my dad holding the ball like a loaf of bread on probably one of the biggest runs of his career. The game stopped after Peyton's historic run. His Bears teammates embraced him to celebrate the accomplishment. The fans at Soldier Field gave him a lengthy standing ovation, and his family toasted the record mark with champagne in a suite. Peyton rushed for 154 yards total in the win over the Saints that day, and also broke another of Jim Brown's records with the 59th 100-yard rushing game of his career. Sweetness played for three more years, rushing for a total of 16,726 yards over his 13-year career, a record which stood until 2002 when the Cowboys' Emmett Smith broke it and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1993. Peyton died of a rare liver disease at just 45 years old, but his legend lives on thanks in part to his unforgettable achievement on October 7, 1984.